Hi friends, this is the Mrs. Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead and today we're going to raw can pork. Now, um, I have another bag of this in the fridge. This is, we butchered our one pig today and I am going to be making sausages and everything else but um, I ended up with a lot of nice cubed pork. I have another probably five pound bag in the fridge. But I want to can these, and I've never raw, pa raw packed canned meat before. So what I'm going to do, or what I've done is I cubed up all this meat and I put it in nice big bags in the fridge with some garlic, some salt, and some pepper. And I let it sit. And now we are going to raw pack our and can our pork. Now these jars have been washed and rinsed, washed with baking soda and hot water and rinsed with hot water and you really don't need to sterilize them if you're um, pressure canning. Now I have about two and a half inches of hot water in the bottom of my canner and a rack and I put a little bit of vinegar in it to keep the um, jars from fogging up. So we're going to pack our meat up to one inch from the top of the jar. I'm just going to tamp that down. You can pack it down really well if you want. One more piece of meat might do just nice. This is a clean rag. I just used it to wash my jars. And we're going to wipe the top of the rim. Now you do not add liquids when you're raw packing meat. And there is one. Always, always, always wipe your rims. I have no idea how many of these jars I'm going to get. But we'll just see, won't we? Alright, I'll be back when I finish getting this bowl emptied. And if I have room for more in the canner, I'll take the other bag out and wash some more jars. Okay, I managed to get all three, well, two and a third bags of meat into 14 jars and I'm going to say these are about a pound a jar so these are going in let me show you here I'm going to put my lid on we have 14 jars and we're going to put our lid on when the canner has built up steam and this vents a steady stream of steam for 10 minutes we will put a 10 pound pressure weight on this and we will process this at 75 minutes because it's in pints. If this was quartz it would be 90 minutes but we don't start timing until the weight jiggles. Okay, we'll be back when we put the weight on. Alright, this has been venting a steady stream of steam for 10 minutes so I'm going to put my 10 pound weight on here. Now this weight every once in a while will get um, a lot of calcium build up from the steam and I just soak it in vinegar to loosen things up. Alright, when this starts to jiggle, we will process this, this, these jars of pork for 75 minutes. Alrighty, our canned pork is done. So we got 14 jars of canned pork. And there we go, folks. 14 jars of fresh butchered pork and look at how juicy that is that how much juice it made isn't that wonderful I can't wait to see how many different things I can make with this this is the Mrs. Wolfie from our half acre homestead saying I'm going to bed because tomorrow we do a goat bye bye